Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is the 10th snowflake of our 25 days of snowflakes. This one is fun. I like this one because it uses two little techniques that it took me a while to figure out how to do, but once I got it, I actually, if you guys are keep an eye out because I have a pattern coming that is, um, that's my angel. I learned two techniques from the angel that I used in this snowflake to help me design it. And one of them, one of the techniques is when we finish this through round two, when we finished round two, I couldn't get the right number of loops. And I thought, well, if I single crochet, you know, this will make sense when you see the pattern, but if I single crochet here, chain up, slip stitch, well, how am I going to get back up? I can't get back up here without another chain and that just puts another hole. So that's not what I need. And then I remembered that when I was designing, or I should say picking apart the, um, Ain't the um, angel tree topper that you're going to see. One of the stitches that I found that she was doing was to get to the top of something and then stay at the top, but still have the, I don't know, the, the length you need was to not work a chain, but to work a double crochet. So that was quite helpful. And then, so that was the problem with round two. And then round three with these, Pico-esque stitches, I'll say. They're not actually Picos because, well, I guess they are, but I mean, Picos you chain, let's say for instance, chain five, slip stitch into the fourth chain, then work their next stitch, and that makes the slip stitch, or I mean the Pico. Well, with this, what it is, is you work two doubles, double, double, chain four, and then when you come back, we are not going to slip stitch into the chain. We're actually slip stitching back into the top of the double crochet. So, you know, when we're working around, we're working this way, yeah, you know, blah, 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 we're working, you know, working it this way. But when we chain up and then we come back, we're actually gonna work back a little bit and then, come, no, I didn't mean to go behind it. I meant like, we're gonna come, we're gonna chain up and then we're gonna come back to the top of that double and then work the slip stitch. I, I, I think I explained it a little bit better in the tutorial, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of better understanding or a better rundown of it. Um, so this is the 10th snowflake. You are going to need a 1.75 millimeter hook, or you can use yarn and use any hook it recommends. But I used Red Heart Classic size 10 crochet thread. You're going to need scissors, stitch marker, a needle to weave in your ends, and I'm using the DMC number 22 from Walmart, which are actually for embroidery and cross stitch, but they work perfect to weave in your thread ends. Okay, so to also at the end of this video, I tell you how to starch it, but since this is the uh, fifth, well, the second fifth, the tenth snowflake, after this tutorial is going to be a starching, the starching tutorial. So, but if you want to starch it, just start in the middle, point all of your, these top ones are chain sevens, point all of those out, then point out your little ones, which are chain fours, get them nice and pointed. And there you go. All right. So get your supplies together. Like I said, if you want to make this out of yarn, use any yarn you want, and then just uh, use the hook it recommends. Okay. All right. Let's get all of our stuff together and get started. All right, so to get started with our 10th snowflake, we're gonna start with a slip knot on our hook. Make sure you have a long tail for weaving in your ends. And we're gonna start with a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, slip stitch back to that very first chain to form a ring. Get out of there. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work a repeat of a double crochet, chain one. Double crochet, chain one. Repeat that until we have 12 chain one spaces. So we slip stitch to form a ring, so now we chain one and then we start our double. 
chain one, double, chain one, double, chain one. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around until we have 12 chain one spaces. Okay, so you guys go ahead and work that and I will meet you at the, or, oops, I will meet you at the 12th chain. So your last stitch should be the 12th chain. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it back around and I have 12, I just about lost my stitch here. There. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then the twelfth chain I just worked. And we slip stitch to the top of the very first double crochet right there. Oh. All right, I'm gonna pull that tail just a little bit. I don't wanna close that up, just wanna kinda of get it out of the way. All right, so now we're gonna move on to round two. And we are going to chain one. And we're gonna single crochet into that very first chain one space. And we're going to mark that with a stitch marker. All right, there's our very first single, okay? Now we're going to work a chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to skip that double and we're going to single crochet into the next uh, chain space into the next chain. Now we just now we are going to chain 5. 1 2 3 4 and 5. And then single crochet into the next chain space. Now we're going to chain 6. 1 2 3 4 5 6 single crochet into the next chain space. And that's what we're just going to repeat around. So we started with six, five, six. Now we're to a five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into the next chain space. My thread is getting tangled up on my shirt. Okay, so we got six, five, six, five. One, two, three, four, five, six single into the next chain space. So repeat that all around and I will meet you in the uh, second to last chain space, okay? So we did six, five, six, five, six, chain five, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain six, single crochet into the next chain one space, all the way around and I'll meet you till just about to the end. Okay, so I've come back around and I have, let me get, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five. So the next one is a chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to single crochet into that last chain space right there. All right, now we are going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to work a double crochet right into this first um, single that we have marked. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a tug to get stand out. And I'm just going to yarn over and work a double. All right, so now we have...
One, two, piece of black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve little loops. Okay. All right. So that is the end. Oops. Of round two. Now we are going to move on to round three. Okay, so round three, we are going to start by chaining two. And I'm actually going to stop and I'm going to mark that double crochet with a stitch marker. Get in there. All right, so we chain two. Now into this chain six loop, we're going to work two doubles. Oops. Two doubles. One and two. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Now this part is where it gets a little confusing. We're going to work a pico, but we're not going to slip stitch into a chain. We're actually going to slip stitch. Let me see if I can make sure you guys see this. All right, so... Here is our first double, here's our second double, and here's our chain one, two, three, four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back down and we're gonna slip stitch, like pretend the tip of this needle is my hook, and you know, we're working like this, but when we slip stitch, we're gonna come right underneath the heart part of the double crochet, and then work, a, work our slip stitch, you know, like this. So, right in there. We're just work the only th the part that makes it a little confusing is we're working it sideways basically. So normally, you know, you would work a double cro or a stitch in top of the double crochet. You just go through there, grab your loop, pull it through, you work your stitch. Well, for this slip stitch, we're just gonna turn our work sideways a little and go right underneath. See, we're right in underneath the heart part of that stitch at the top. But, and that's where we're going to slip stitch. Right like that. And now back into that chain six, we're going to work um, a, tr a treble. One, two. One treble. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to put we're going to come back down and we're just going to insert our hook right underneath the heart at the top of that treble we're just going to do it from the side it's the only thing that's a little different is we're, we're just going from the side you see my hook is still right through there it's just on the side and slip stitch All right, now we're gonna work on another treble, right back in there. And chain four, one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go right into the side again. Get the slip stitch. And then two double crochets. One. And two. So there is what the uh, point of this snowflake is going to look like. Okay. All right. Now we're going to chain two. And we're going to single crochet into the chain five space. So we're just going to come right down here. Come on now. And single. All right, now we're just going to start that repeat over again. Chain two. Into the chain six with two doubles. 
one and two. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and now pretend the needle is my hook. I'm just going to come down and go right into the side of the top of that double crochet. So, I mean, my hook's still going the same place. Like if I was working into the top, I'm just, we're going from the side. See it right there? Just going right in there with a slip stitch. Work a treble. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're going to do the same thing. Come right down here and go into the side and slip stitch into that treble. Another treble. Chain four. And then come back down and put your hook right into the top of that treble. We're just doing it from the side. And slip stitch. And now we work the two doubles. One and two. Chain two. Single crochet into the chain five space. Okay, so that's the repeat. You chain two, and then all into that chain six loop, we're gonna work two double, chain four, and then work that slip stitch right into the side of the double. And then treble crochet into it, into the chain six, chain seven, slip stitch into the top, right onto the side, just turn your work a little bit sideways, right into the top of that treble. And then treble crochet again into the chain six, chain four, slip stitch into the side of that, the top of the treble, two double crochet into the chain six, chain two, single crochet into the chain five. And then start over with the chain two, and then into the chain six, two double, chain four, slip stitch, one treble, chain seven, slip stitch, one treble, chain four, slip stitch, two double crochet. So repeat that around, rewind this if you need to, or um, you can slow the video down. And uh, I am going to go all the way around and I'm gonna meet you. So right now we have, we're on five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. I'm gonna meet you on the last chain six, okay? So I will be right back. Okay guys, I've made it around and I'm going to work my last repeat. So chain two into my chain six. I'm going to work two doubles. One and two. Chain four. I'm going to come down right to the, not this double crochet, but the very next one. I'm just going to come down and insert my hook in there and work a slip stitch on the side. Treble. One. All right, now we're gonna chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come back down to the side of that, right there it is, to the side of that treble. Slip stitch. Now we're going to work a treble, chain four, one, two, three, four, stitch markers getting in my way, come back down, right there's this 
That one's kind of big. <laughs> We're going to slip stitch right into the top of our treble. And then two double crochets. One and two. And now we're just gonna uh, chain two, one, two, and we're gonna slip stitch to the double crochet we have marked right there. Slip stitch right there. Okay, and that's done. Here is our 10th little snowflake. Now when we block this, we're gonna make all these little points stick out and adjust stitches, make it nice and pretty. Okay, so now you can chain one and fasten off if you uh, wanna use the little Christmas ornament things from Walmart, little hooks. But if you want to use your thread as a hanger, chain one, pull up a long loop, and cut. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in this middle tail before we get started. I should have done that like at the beginning of the snowflake because it's kind of turned into a little bit of a pain in the butt. But that's okay. Dang it. Sometimes with this thread, if you don't have a nice clean cut, you will not get the thread on the hook. All right. So I'm just going to go right under the legs of these doubles. Now remember, don't close. Don't close that center hole. Right there is nice. I'm going to go back just to lock it down. All right, now I'm going to cut. Okay. All right, so now for the loop to hang it. All right, get this thread on my needle. Okay, so I'm going to come, it's pretty center, the stitch, or the slip stitch, so I'm going to come right in next to it. Just go right in there, go through a few stitches. Okay, so I'm going to stop and I'm going to pull this until I like the length of the hanger. And I like that. That looks pretty good, right? Oh, I guess I should pull out. There we go. Let's see. Ooh, that one's pretty long. Bring it back. About there. About four and a half, four and a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to hold my finger right here because I don't want this loop to... Um, tighten up any. I don't want to lose any of that length. So I'm going to finish weaving this end in and bring it back a few stitches and that will lock it in place. There. Okay. And there's our 10th snowflake guys. This one's cute. Okay, so like I said, um, the next video should be the starching of 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. But if you want to go ahead and starch this before I get the video out, just start in the middle and then on your six point template, you know, get your six points lined up the best you can. Go with those chain seven spaces and then come to the chain four and get them poked out. And there you go. I'm so proud. This one's pretty. This one was a lot of fun to design. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to say it again. Thank you for watching my tutorials, for, you know, leaving me comments, um, 
subscribing, thumbs up, all that fun stuff. Thank you guys so very much. You guys are the best. If, if you were all were here, I'd hug you all. <laughs> okay, check out my description box. I got um, links to everything that you guys will need to make these snowflakes and the angel that's going to be coming up and um, to what, what you'll need to starch your snowflakes and angel. Um, also, my email's down there, so if you guys need any help whatsoever, email me and I will get to you as fast as I can to help you out. Um, I've made a few friends from emailing people that need help. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for me today. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.